Presenting a challenge to those who doubt De Vere as the author William Shakespeare. These are some of the most prominent Stratfordians today. Some of them were interviewed for this book by Elizabeth Winkler, Shakespeare Was a Woman and Other Heresies, How Doubting the Bard Became the Biggest Taboo in Literature, or she attempted to interview them. I have a simple challenge for them and all who doubt the Oxfordian theory of authorship. How do you explain the following enigmas taken from the original texts? I'm going to start off with the epistle dedicatory from Shakespeare's first folio, which celebrates its 400th anniversary next month. Unlike most of the other videos in this series, I only have one Gematria sum puzzle. All the rest are simple counting puzzles. So let's start. The name Shakespeare is on the 17th line from the bottom of the paragraph. It's the name that has all uppercase letters. There are 16 uppercase letters before the name from the top of the page to the uppercase S in Shakespeare, the first one. That means the uppercase S is the 17th uppercase letter from the top of the page. I can see one item being by chance and two items being coincidence. However, the name is the 17th word after the colon in sentence 6. Now we're beginning to see that there's a pattern here. No one can deny that three times means something else is going on, folks. Between our Shakespeare near the top of the page and the servant's Shakespeare, there are 16 words beginning with uppercase letters. That means the servant Shakespeare is the 17th word beginning with upper, an uppercase letter from our Shakespeare to itself. The name is also the 17th word in the sentence. Note, none of these things require us to shift letters, change things. It's simple counting. There are 287 words on the page, and when you add up the digits, they come up to 17. Now we turn our attention to Ben Johnson's poem, also from the first folio. To my, the memory of my beloved, the author, Mr. William Shakespeare, and what he hath left us, is 17 words. In and of itself, that doesn't mean anything. However, the gematria sum of the uppercase letters in line 2, which has the author in it, is 98. And 9 plus 8 equals the number of words that are in the title. The last line has 17 characters in it. Three more enigmas are on this poem. This is from page one. From the uppercase T that begins the poem to the uppercase S in Shakespeare, there are 17 spaces. The poem begins on the 17th line with I therefore will begin. There are also 17 words from I to Shakespeare. On the second page, We count 17 lines from the top before we get to My Gentle Shakespeare. There are 17 couplets between the couplet that has My Shakespeare Rise on line 19 on page 1 to where My Gentle Shakespeare is. Shakespeare is also the first and 17th name in a list of poets that does not appear on or in brackets. There are 17 uppercase letters between My Gentle Shakespeare 
and Shakespeare's mind. Hugh Holland's poem is 17 lines from the title to the final line of the poem. Shakespeare's is the 17th word in the poem. In James Maybe's poem, also from the first folio to the memory of M. W. Shake hyphen Spear, the W is the 17th character in the title. The first S in Shakespeare is the 17th letter in the title. The uppercase S in Shakespeare from line 1 occupies the 17th space from the uppercase V that begins we. The anonymous balladeer who wrote Elizabeth Loss knew that Shakespeare was a pen name for a certain earl. What number stanza has the name Shakespeare in it? Feel free to count them for yourself and pause the video. How many letters are there before the name Shakespeare? In other words, what number is the uppercase S in Shakespeare? How many words are there in the stanza other than Shakespeare? Actually, Shakespeare. Next, we look at Stowe's Annals from 1618. This actually is five years before the first folio was published. Willie Dot Shake hyphen Spear is the 17th poet in this list known for English verse. Skeptics will say, well, the lines, you know, the list begins with Friar Bacon, Thomas Wycliffe, Geoffrey Chaucer, John Gower, etc. It is not the 17th poet or the 17th writer. However, Friar Bacon, Roger Bacon, was known as a natural philosopher and theologian. Thomas Wycliffe was the first person to translate the Bible into English. Sir Thomas More, Lord Chancellor, as they note, was not known for his poetry. I don't even know if there was any poetry published by him. And Jasper Hayward was a translator of Latin poetry. That eliminates those four people from the list. So then you count four poets in the top paragraph, and then you continue down to willy.shake-spear, and you'll see that he is the 17th poet known for English verse. There are 17 letters from the uppercase W in W. Warner, the first one, to the uppercase W in Willie. Alternately, you can shift it one letter over and you'll see that the W in Willie is the 17th letter after the second W, the W in Warner. Here's something that Alexander Waugh had actually missed in Parliamentaea by William Covell. Shakespeare is the 17th word down the left-hand margin in the notes section. And from the top of the paragraph, that is, dear wit decking admired daughters, to Shakespeare, his is the 17th name in italics. I would like to know how doubters of the Oxfordian theory explain away these 28 simple counting enigmas across three different documents. The first folio, Polymentea, Stowe's Annals from 1618, Elizabeth's Loss from 1603 or 1604. They can pit their theories up against this evidence for De Vere as the author. If anyone can provide a better explanation for these enigmas, other than that they allude to Edward De Vere as the real author going by the pen name William Shakespeare, be my guest. I'd like to know. 
I'd really like to know how Stratfordians, Marlovians, Baconians, and all the others can explain why the number 17 is associated with this name across these documents and more. You can purchase Elizabeth Winkler's book, Shakespeare Was a Woman and Other Heresies, wherever fine books are sold. On the slide, we have the link to Barnes & Noble and Indigo, but you can also purchase it on Amazon and everywhere else. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.